Hi everyone! In this video, I would like to show you how we can use the new function in Excel called sort. It will enable us to sort in different ways. We can now sort by rows as well as sort by columns. Sorting by columns is most definitely new, something that we were not able to do previously in Excel. Um, in addition to that, what's new with this formula is it allow us to keep an audit trail. We would be able to separate the source data which will remain intact and create an output which is a sorted table. Let, let me uh, demonstrate um, some examples for you so that you can visualize it a little bit better. I will be using um, um, th the data on the left um, for my inputs and I will create a sorted table on the right in here using the new sort formula. The syntax is really simple. Um, only one uh, compulsory required input, which is the array, and the rest are all optional inputs. Yeah, so we've got optional uh, sort index, which is the number, a number indicating the row or column to sort by. We also have uh, optional sort order, which is a number to indicate desired order, one for ascending and minus one for descending. And lastly, uh, an optional input by column, which is a logical value to indicate the sort direction, be it by row or by column. So in the first example, I will show you sorting by row first. Yeah? So we've got a data set in here. Um, let's sort this table. Um, so that we can sort the information by product. Yeah? And the way to do that is by typing equal sort and highlight the information mm -hmm. um, and then put comma. I want to sort it by product, which is um, the sort index and product is the first column. So I should enter one and close bracket, enter. So now mm, my information is sorted by product. Now, what is that? Yeah, That's my uh, heading. So if I don't want the heading because I already put my heading on top, then all I need to do is just change the array reference. Yep. And then voila, that line will disappear. So now my data is sorted by product. Mm -hmm. Now, what if I want to sort them by price? Um, all I need to do is change the sort index so that it's now sorting by price, which is the second column, put number two. Yep. Now, everything is sorted by price, the most expensive item at the bottom, the cheapest is over there. Now, what if I want the most expensive item on top? What can I do? That is basically changing the sort uh, order. Um, currently, it is ascending. We want it descending, so I need to enter um, minus one in the sort order. So let's do that. We just need to enter comma minus one and it is now sorted in a descending order. So the, the beauty uh, of this formula is you've got a sorted table over there on the right and you can still see your original which is remaining intact. So it is safer. Uh, because I don't know if you know or remember in the olden days how easy it is to sometimes missort your table because you're only sorting a column and then the other column is not sorted. It became really messy. So I like the fact that we are keeping the uh, audit trail, um, we are keeping the source data untouched, and we are creating a sorted table on the right as an output. Now let's move on to the second example uh, where this formula uh, can also be used to sort information by column. Yeah? Um, let me let me illustrate what it means. So let's look at um let's look at our data inputs, the data that we will sort. Yeah. So this data is a simple table of um, informations um, uh, by name: Debbie, Bobby, Cindy, Annie and uh, what's their age as well as their gender. Yeah. Now, what I want uh, Excel to help us with is to sort this name so that in our output, we've got any appearing first, 
um, and then alphabetically followed by Bobby, Cindy, and Debbie. So A, B, C, D. Yep. So how do we do that? Same method. Highlight the table to be sorted. Yep. Um, actually, we don't have to highlight that. We just need to type equal sort, open bracket, um, highlight the table to be sorted, and then the sort index. So we want name to be driving the um, uh, the sorting, and name is the, the first row. So I just put one, and then um, I want it um, this ascending. So I don't really have to enter anything, but for completeness, I will enter one anyway. And the sorting is by column, so I will need to select through in here. Close bracket. And voila, I now have um, Annie, Bobby, Cindy, and Debbie, um, followed by their associated age and gender. So any eight and female, um, that's sorted. Isn't that cool? Now, if you want to change the order so that it is reversing, up, uh, descending, so instead of alphabetical A, B, C, D, um, what if I want Debbie to be here and A to be on the right? We can change the sort order to descending. So that's the, the sort order is the, uh, the, the second optional input. So let me just change that to minus one in there. And voila, Annie is there. Isn't this cool? Uh -huh. If you enjoy uh, learning about sort, um, um, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that we can keep you up to date with my new learnings um, in Excel. Thank you. Cheers.